much confidence did Thursday night give you? Uh, it gave. I, I came into Thursday night with a lot of confidence uh, watching some New Orleans Saints film and just having a good camp so far. Uh, I would say I came into the game really confident, and I just I wouldn't say I got more confidence from Thursday, but it just was I just expressed that, it just showed that confidence. So I would just say that. What's the biggest difference from last year to this year? Um, just my mental growth, just learning, uh, learning as a player, learning more concepts, uh, learning from my mistakes last year, you know, and uh, just the game has just slowed down tremendously just in one year. So I would say that's a big difference. Do you think, I mean, I don't know if this is true for all corners or not, but do you feel you show something when you make a play like you did on that fourth down and come up and tackle a guy hard in the backfield? Uh, definitely. I think when uh, when you have corners uh, showing that they could tackle, and that's something that Coach Williams definitely wants to do with this group, uh, I think it sends a message to the offense. Um, uh, you're not going to be able to crack wide receivers and put us one on one on one yeah. situation with the running back. Uh, we do that with a lot of confidence. So um, I think it does show it does show something. Um, did you play mostly inside last year? Uh, no, I play. I didn't play uh, inside at all. I, I only did it in practice. I did a lot of that practice, but not in the game, no. So when I think they've asked you to do it a little bit this year, what yep. kind of transition is that? Uh, it's been a smooth transition. Um, I played nickel uh, a lot on in college. I was uh, first down, second down, I was outside, and on third down, I usually went inside, or if it was passing downs, I went inside. So uh, I was pretty familiar with it, and then coming into into the NFL, I, I thought I was going to be a nickel, nickel back um, coming in. But uh, I got to play outside right away, so that was cool. I wasn't, I didn't have a problem with that. But um, I would say the transition is smooth, though. I'm really, I'm really liking it. How important was it to get that big win Thursday night after everything that went out last year? We don't want to spend a lot of time dwelling on that, but just to get a win under your belt as early as you guys did. It's ex it's extremely important, but we just got to realize that you know one win is not enough. You know we got many more, and it is a preseason. So um, after four games, our record will be zero and zero again. So uh, we just got to take it for what it is. Uh, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it uh, a, a ton, but we also know that we got a lot of work to do, and uh, we're going to come back stronger and get ready for New York. Can we talked to Jamar last week. He talked about how he thinks he can be a top five corner in this league. Um, and I'm not sure anybody no outside doubt. of Jamar would pin him in that group if you're looking across the No league. doubt. No doubt about it. No doubt. The top five corner, no doubt No doubt in my mind he can be that. Why do you say that? Uh, just the way the way he works and his skill set. Um, the man has, if he was if he was a, a craftsman, he would have a lot of tools in his toolbox. He would have, you know, a screwdriver. I'm not a tool guy, so I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to try to name all the tools he has. But I'm just saying the guy can play off. He can play inside. He can go back and play safety. He can play middle linebacker if you ask him to because he's just he's just that versatile and uh when you talk about off the field he's a guy who does all the right things and he's in here till camp night we we already break at 10 o'clock with 11 o'clock curfew and he's still in here and i'm like you're insane like let's go home we've just been here since six o'clock so when you look at a guy like that his roof is his ceiling is extremely high what have you learned from mccordy coming in uh mccordy he he has taught me he has taught me patience um as far as like getting, he he helps me get lined up, and uh, patience in my press. He's like he's like really the big brother of the group, you know. So he kind of oversees everything when he sees a mistake, when he sees someone not looking how they usually do. He's usually the guy to step up and talk and say, "Hey, buddy, I think you need to do this. You need to do that." So uh, he's been a great help. Really, really like having him in the back end with us. Coach Walker was saying uh, how hard a worker you really are, and, and singers and really kind of pointed you out. Do you think you're one of the harder working, hardest working guys on this football team? Um, I, I, I don't know how. I, I would say we're a hard working football team, so I, it's kind of hard to say if I'm the, one of the hardest. But I do know that I work extremely hard, and I've, I've had to just overcome some of the things that I went through. So I'm um, work, honestly, working hard is just the normal. This the norm to me. So if I'm not doing anything extra after practice, or I'm not, if I'm not doing any, anything extra on the weekend or at night, then I kind of feel like I'm cheating myself. So. I just I just kind of take take that every single day in, in my everyday life and just just go with that.